Tanner, can you think of one word? What are you thankful for? Life. Life. Okay. So, right, life on there. Marcus, what are you thankful for? One word. It could be anything. We're thankful for a lot of things, or should be. I'm thankful for um, God. God. Okay. Can you sound that word out and write it down? Okay. Sophia, what are you thankful for, honey? For being a good family. Okay, so you're thankful for family. Um, so I'll help you write that word because I know that's a word that's difficult for you, but what does it start with? Family. F. F. So go ahead and write an F and then I'll help you with the rest. Asher. Trees. So what we are doing here is something that I added to our morning basket this month and so I have the kids write something that they're thankful for on these leaves and then we add them to a little thankful tree for fall but also we are reading a verse each day that has to do with thankfulness and gratefulness in the Bible and that has become part of our morning basket time. I just wanted to share with you guys today what we have in our morning basket for the month of November. Um, this isn't going to end up being everything. This is just what's in here now. Um, and so I'm going to show that to you in just a second. Um, and then I'm going to show you a little bit of a peek inside one of the resources I'm going to use for our history this month. So our history this year, we are actually doing Story of the World, um, Volume 1, so the ancient history. I, side note, absolutely love November. Thanksgiving is probably... Um, well, I don't want to say my favorite holiday, but it does tie right there with Christmas for me. I love Thanksgiving. Um, I just love the whole um, heart of celebrating Thanksgiving and just really focusing on what we are thankful and grateful for. And um, that's also part of our morning basket, which I'll insert some clips into the video of that as well. For this month, we're kind of going to take a little bit of a break from our ancient history. We will still listen to the audio in the car of what we've learned about so far. Like when we drive to piano or whatever, we just keep the CD, audio CD on repeat and listen to what we've already learned so far just to keep it fresh. But um, we are gonna be focusing on a little bit of American history for this month. So, um, some of the things that are in here, obviously, we have started reading The Sign of the Beaver, which the kids are really enjoying. I teach a novel studies class at our co-op, and um, I decided that my kids would probably really enjoy this book as well, so we have been reading it also. So that is in here. I still am keeping the missionary stories with the Miller's book in here. This, is, um, this was in my last video I did of A Morning Basket. <clears throat> and we don't do it every morning, um, but we are almost halfway through it now. Um, it's just a really neat um, book of different missionaries. I just shared a video on this and how we use it. Um, the Nature Reader, we um, are continuing with that. And again, we don't do this every single day, but it is in here for when we do. The other thing is the New City Catechism. Sometimes we pull this out for Bible time, and my kids actually really love this. It's very simple question and answer on what our beliefs are um, and um, the verses to back it up. And so they really love that one. For this month, we are going to be focusing and learning about um, American Indians. And so I have this book in here, and it's just um, a simple little book about the different parts of the United States and the different types of Native Americans that live there. And we are also going to be reading back through this. This actually was part of our, and so was this book. 
Um, they were part of our um, My Father's World Adventures in U.S. History curriculum that we did last year, but we are going to repeat it this year because it was just my two older boys that did it last year. And um, so my kindergartners will really enjoy this as well. And this is what I'm gonna kind of give you a peek inside of, but we are going to be using this a lot for our history and everything um, for this month. And so I'll show you that in just a second, but it is these little history pockets. So it's like lap booking basically, and it's all about life in Plymouth Colony, and it's just really neat, so I'll show you that. The other thing is we are um, going to start reading the Matchlock Gun um, just as another read aloud um, because we haven't read it yet and I know that my kids will enjoy it because I remember reading that. So, um, and then we keep this in here as well because this is also our family devotional and Bible. So, um, let me pull this out and I will show you what's inside. So this you can even get on Amazon. I actually found it at a great used bookstore here in our area for only $1.50 on Amazon. It's like right under $17. But if you wanted to use it even for this month, you can prime it and get it by Thursday. Um, so anyway, so you have all these different little pockets. Like I said, it's basically like um, lap booking. And so the first one will focus on voyage to the new world, then the new world, building a village, home sweet home, the family, working in Plymouth Colony, going to school, and what did the pilgrims give us? And so it shows you what you will need to make the pocket. And you don't have to do it this way. This just is how they um, suggest that you do it. Um, and then assembling the pocket book. So it ends up looking really neat. So every pocket has, and um, it shows you everything. So it has a teacher fact sheet and everything. Um, student booklets that are reproducible so they can do it more independently and then activities. So this is kind of what it will end up looking like. If you did the going to school pocket, it would have the little activities that they've done in it and they just go down in that pocket. So everything in here is reproducible and it gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to do everything. And then this is the fact sheet that you would read. And then these are the reproducible student pages if you want them to read. So this is also great for like reading comprehension and all of that jazz. And you can um, even go over vocabulary top things. And then here are the step-by-step -step instructions for completing the first little portion of your packet. Um, there's also just, some of these are very simple. Some of them are a little more complex. I won't be using every single one of these. Um, I will for sure be using this one because it's really simple for my kids to do and it's a good visual for them to understand um, what the Mayflower looked like, and it even shows kind of the inside of it. Um, packing for the voyage, different words to know and what they mean. Then you have the New World part, and it shows things. So this is just a really great addition and resource to any lessons that you have about the pilgrims and things like that. A copy of the Mayflower Compact. There's even just some word searches. And building the village, I thought this was really neat. And 
And then it even goes into um, with some writing assignments where they are the town crier. So they have to write that out. And what was in their home, just so they get an idea of that. And I thought this was really cool, the keeping room diorama. My kids will love this. And then the family. And it even talks about the book of manners and then you can reinforce good manners, what that looks like. And some little pilgrim puppets, which I'm sure my kids will absolutely love this. They are obsessed with putting on like little shows right now because they're big time into the Muppets right now. And they've been doing their own rendition of the Muppet show and everything else. So I'm sure they will be very into that. And then the different jobs. I really like this too. So it just gives really great visuals to um, teach them what life would have been like. So, that, oh, and quilt patterns. This is really fun too. And what it was like to go to school then. So, that will be really neat to do as well. And making their own horn book. And then what did the pilgrims give us? So that is a look inside this excellent resource. And then this is like they're making their own little toy, like what they would have played with, except they're making it out of paper. And you can even make a recipe in the back. Hasty pudding. So that is just a look inside. This is a really good resource. I'm sorry about the glare. There you go. There. Um, and like I said, you can get this on Amazon. And Evan Moore always makes really great additions, um, really great supplements. And so I just wanted to show you a look inside and give you an idea of something else you can use for this month with your homeschoolers. Thanks for watching.